Buenos días. Bien, bien. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. <laughs> Our goal is, uh, is to help more people, more than expected. And I believe we're going to have that. And to have also many people sign for Bible study so that they know more about the Word of God. Ask the Dominicans for the heartiest meal they can think of, and most will point you to Sancocho. Sometimes it takes ingredients from everyone in the neighborhood to bring together this impressive stew with enough portions to feed a whole community. It's a dish everyone here talks about, because Sancocho, the locals claim, goes straight to the heart. But these members of the Church of Christ are telling their countrymen about a meal that shoots not only to the heart, but straight to the soul as well. They've pulled together their resources, their time, their energy, and their faith in the hopes of sharing God's message with the countrymen they love. Over 10 million people live in the Dominican Republic. There's God who wants, you know, to, wants to, the gospel to come here, wants the Church of Christ to come here. It's not my work, it's not the work of, uh, of even the administration. The administration just answer to the call of God. They're religious. They believe they need God and Christ in their lives. And yet, they are spiritually starved. The problem is they don't have, they don't have the true word of God, but they love to worship in every corner. Oh, the people here, they... We're very religious, uh, but the point is, they just need the truth. Though people here are very religious, they are devoid of true spirituality. And Brother Paul and Jolly has always believed that the true words of God taught in the Church of Christ could fill their spiritual void. <laughs> and continuously feed them with the Word of God and the church, that how the church will start to spread in the Dominican Republic. On this day, members of the Church of Christ from various places joined and worked together with their Dominican brethren in inviting as many of their countrymen as possible to an evangelical mission. They didn't know it at the time, but with God's help, they would ultimately bring 1,117 guests to listen to the words of God. But all this began with one man's persistence to bring his faith home. Brother Paulin joined the Iglesia de Cristo in 1983 while living in the United States. Being a member, being member of the Church of Christ changed my life. It gave me direction. I did not hear before in other churches. In the Iglesia de Cristo, Brother Paulin discovered how the true words of God should be taught directly from the pages of the Bible. Through one particular lesson, he discovered a life-defining goal. It's just like, you know, the Samarian woman, and I, I like to spread the gospel and let everybody else know about it. He got that chance in 2007 when the church administration granted his request and sent a minister of the gospel to hold the Bible study in the Dominican Republic. Brother Paulin had plenty of work to do. Over the next two years, he would return again and again with a minister of the Iglesia de Cristo who would bring God's words to his countrymen. 
cuando he estado entre ustedes. I'm a servant of God. Anytime he uses me to do his work, I feel good about it. In 2009, Brother Pollen decided to stay for good. Uh, this is like the accomplishment of the hope. Because I, you know, it's something I was I mean, looking for. Because all the effort that the church put there and traveling, you know, spending, things like that, I don't want that to be wasted. I was happy to see that happen. And I'm, I expect to see some more happen. Mi vida es diferente que antes porque ya me bauticé en la Iglesia de Cristo. Pertenezco a la Iglesia de Cristo. Soy miembro de la Iglesia de Cristo. Me siento feliz y contenta. After weeks of intense preparation and prayers and days of inviting their friends, family, and neighbors, the brethren are sure God's message will reach many. This is the reason they will enter because some of them, they look for truth. They love God already. They just need to be guided in the new path. I hope most of them to have an eye op openers. The eye will be open, they will sign, they seek for more truth. It's the day of the first of two evangelical missions. For two days, this hall, which is often used as a boxing ring where people learn to fight, will become a place where people learn to use God's words as their shield, their strength, their ultimate defense. Eso es una imagen, una experiencia, una enseñanza que le que ustedes le dejan un alego de que en ese lugar que se entrena contacto físico también es el lugar la casa de Dios y que de hecho es todo positivo. On the first day, 512 people came to listen. On the second day, 605 people sat down and opened their hearts to God's true teachings. In the end, guests realized why this handful of brethren worked so hard to gather them all there. Yet, this handful of people, with the help of some of their brethren, were able to gather 1,117 of their countrymen. Because it is the work of God, but I can feel that in my heart, God is our Father, so we are His nation. Everything we ask with faith, He gives it to us. God gave them each an opportunity for true life by means of his words. In otra congregación, y voy a tener tres años que estaba estudiando en la Iglesia de Cristo y recibí muchos estudios que me abrieron los ojos espirituales. El Señor ha sido maravilloso y estoy muy contenta en esa congregación. It's a love they want to share, the love for truth, the kind of love that gives where it counts the most. Sí, porque tú sabes, eh, la iglesia todavía no hay mucha gente, tú oye. Y ahora yo hacer mi, yo me considero como, como un, un, una, un miembro de la iglesia. Y yo quiero que la iglesia se crece, crece así, mucha gente, yo quiero eso. The list of those waiting to be baptized and those signing up for Bible studies grows. ¿Entiendes? Esta iglesia llegó aquí a República Dominicana. ¿Ha sido para qué? 
¿eh? para que nosotros los elegidos ¿eh? ya estamos entrando al rebaño de Cristo. All right now, the church ready to start a great work here to encourage people to, so that people can hear about uh, the gospel of God, the true gospel of Jesus Christ. This is what Brother Paulin dreamed of so many years ago. It's a dream that's required hard work, persistence, faith, hope, and love to be fulfilled. God has guided him to reach out to his countrymen. I believe uh, when, I, uh, when I come here, I come with nothing. And when the time comes for me to leave, I leave therefore with nothing. And the only thing I will carry with me is the work of, is the work of God, the duty. It's our duty as servants of God to look at those around us and see each person we pass by as one who may have been waiting his lifetime for someone like Brother Paulin to reach out to him with the truth.